What's up YouTube, welcome to another video. In this video I'll show you how to install MySQL Workbench on a Windows 10. So first thing we need to do is go to mysql.com uh, and go to their products and Workbench. I'll put the link into the description so don't worry. Uh, make sure to check the description out though. And then we're going to click on download button and we're going to scroll down here and we're going to look for the installer that we can use. I'm on a 64-bit architecture so I need a 64-bit installer and I prefer to use MSI installer. So I'm gonna click download on that one and let's see no thanks just start my download. I'm gonna wait for it to download which was pretty fast so let's go ahead and open it. Okay, looks like I have, I'm missing some uh, some dependencies for Workbench. It requires Visual C++. So let's do download prerequisites with Google Chrome. Let's see, this is the one that it said I need. So I'm going to click on Microsoft Visual C++ and download that first. English is fine. Now again, I'm looking for 64-bit architecture, so I'm gonna click on this one. Not actually sure what this is. ARM. Actually, I think this is for Android, probably. ARM. Uh, let's just do that. Uh, see if that works. Install this first. Not sure how long this is gonna take. Actually, it looks like it's pretty fast. All right, good for us. So I've finished closing that. Now let's go ahead and, and finish installing the workbench. So you go back to downloads and restart it. Next, uh, so you might want to remember the path where it's going to be uh, downloaded. Uh, there's no particular reason to do that, so just click next. Uh, we'll do complete install and just accept the defaults. Click yes. Come on. Okay, that should launch my scale workbench now. And at this point we can go ahead and try to connect to a database. Now you should know the credentials for your database uh, maybe it's your own that you have uh, created maybe there's already a database that's created and you just want to connect to it uh, but in any case you should know the credentials so we're going to click on mysql connections this plus sign here to add a connection now the things that we're going to need um, by default are host name and the port then we'll also need to know the username um, to connect to the actual database. Uh, so I have my own uh, database that's running on this Linux box and I know that my address for my database is this and my port is this. So that's the credentials that I'm going to be using for this two fields. So hostname is 192.168.0.10 and of course numlock is not turned on 
So 192.168.0.10 and the port is 3306. Now username, I do have a username under root, so I'll leave that uh, the same. And let's do, let's set up the password and the password is, I th actually, let me see, I think is that. Let's try it. So now I'm not sure if this is gonna work, so I'm gonna click on test connection. And it's still asking me for the password, okay. Try again. Uh, access denied uh, for user root. Okay, so it looks like it doesn't like that. Uh, so let's try another username. Let's try this. All right, there we go. Now that works. So after the test connection returns that it was successful, I can then click OK and that will add uh, my connection to the lists. And let's do QADB. Let's do it that way. So now once I'm in this, uh, once I have this uh, connection established, I can just double click on it and it's going to open up an editor where I can type my queries and I can run my SQL commands uh, from this window. So let's do uh, something like and I describe describe QA dot results uh, for example see if that works and basically I pressed control and then hit uh, hit enter to execute the query and then this is the results that I got so basically describe QA results um, tells me which columns I have and you know what their values, um, you know, uh, max chairs are, uh, whether the column can be null, what's the primary key, and so on. So there we go. That's how you install and connect to a database using the Workbench. Thank you guys for watching and take care.